Well, good morning. Action. <laughs> it is Wednesday. June it is 25th. Wednesday, and we have just arrived into work. <laughs> uh, a little bit later than normal. Yep, I have a meeting. He's got to work here today, so I'm kind of different than yesterday. Yeah. But we are going to be in Psalms 18 today. So, start your morning prayer. Yeah, Heavenly Father, Lord, I give you this day. Father, I pray for your blessings on this day, Lord, that you just be able to help us to do whatever we do for your glory and for your honor. Help us, Lord, as Christians to, Lord, do our, Lord, work or ministry or talking or helping, whatever it is, for your glory and for your honor. Father, help us to just share the love of Jesus with people. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Psalms 18, Salmo 18. And it starts like this. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Nicole. It says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord. And I cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even in his ears. You know, when those moments come that you feel overwhelmed and fear and different circumstances around you come, just call on the Lord and know that Amen. he hears you. He hears you. Psalms 119 so that was Psalms 118, 1 through 6. Then if you turn to Psalms 119, I'm going to read 7 through 14. It says this, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. You know, when you dwell in the Word of God, it just does something. It gives you a wisdom that this world doesn't have. It gives you a peace like none other. You know, I heard someone say this morning that at one point, Cory Timboon, that was the, the lady who ended up in a con um, concentration camp for her family for hiding Jews, um, that at one point in her life she said she had no faith, but she had Jesus. You know, she knew that that was the only place her strength was. She also gave a testimony of being in one of the cells in the concentration camp and feeling overwhelmed and all by herself in this little you know, corner. And she saw a little ant and she had a little bit of water and she put the water down close to the ant and she watched the ant run into a tiny little hole that was in the wall. And at that moment, the Lord told her that that's what she's to do. He is her hiding place. He is that little hole in the wall for her to escape into. When everything else around seems overwhelming, he is there. He is our hiding place. Amen. It goes on, it says, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Amen. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. More than any riches, more than anything that this world has to offer. Desire the Lord. Seek Him. It says, Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. So it's in the Lord that 
you find wisdom. It's in the Lord. He'll give you a warning. He'll let you know, okay, this is about to happen. This is what you need to do ahead of time. It's not going to take you by surprise. You continue to trust the Lord. It says, and in keeping of them, in keeping his commandments, in keeping his law, in keeping his word in your heart, there's a great reward. It goes on and it says, who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. You know, sometimes our hearts can deceive us. You know, and we can think that we're all good, but the Lord knows that there's things there that are not right. But in his word, there's correction. It's correction done in love. It's like a father or mother corrects her children so that they don't have bad things happen later on. You know, we're watching a generation that was raised, unfortunately, with either a father missing, you know, parents too busy working, not taking the time to really train up a child in the way they should go. They grew up without the principles of the Word of God. You know, if there is no truth, if there is no definite, okay, this is what the Word of God says, this is how you have to live your life, or these things are going to happen, and you say it all changes depending on the situations, well, then there is no right or wrong. So anybody can do whatever they want to, but that's not the way the Lord is. Just like gravity works a certain way, just like you know, every cell in our body has to work a certain way, our heart has to work a certain way, there's an order. God made everything with an order. And in his word is where we learn about that order. It goes on and it says, Keep back thy servant also for presumptuous sins, and let them not have dominion, dominion over me. So he says, like, Lord, keep me from sinning. You know, keep me from just even the little sins. Just keep me from doing these things. Don't let them have dominion over me. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable, acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. That's a great thing. It's not in our own strength. It's in the strength of the Lord. See, Jesus said he'd send the comforter for us. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers you to do things that in the natural you wouldn't be able to do. The Holy Spirit will comfort you when there's no one else there. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ is the greatest thing you can have. And it's the greatest thing that you can lead someone you love to have. Because people will fail us. Bad things will happen. It's just part of life. But when you've got the Lord and you know that he has you in his hands, you know that the creator of the whole universe, the one that has the earth rotating just the right way so that we can live on it, also has you in his hands. Trust him. Trust him. A little quote from Corey Timboon that I saw this morning. It says, worry is like a rocking chair. It keeps you moving, but doesn't get you anywhere. So don't let your mind focus on worrying. Focus on the Word of God. Read Psalms. Be encouraged in His Word. He loves you so much more than you know. So keep a praise song in your heart. Amen. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again, again I, I say rejoice. rejoice. Blessings God. to all of you. We love you. Have an awesome day. Be praying for our nation. Very important decisions are being made today in the White House uh, regarding Israel. May we stand by her. In Jesus' name, Lord bless them. Amen. Amen.